live from deep in the Colorado mountains. It's the Review Board with your host, Tom, the old guy. All items are presumed to be tasty. Hello everyone and welcome to the review board number 11. And today I have got some sea salt oven baked pretzels, thin and crispy. Uh, these are made by, uh, this is a private selection so it's a Kroger brand. Uh, I'm going to get ready to try. And I have got some sticks and these are chili lime. Uh, it's made by Takis, so my guess is it's going to be like a uh, kind of like a Cheetos, um, but uh, with Takis flavoring. So I'll see about that. And for beverages today, I have got uh, something totally new to me. I've never seen this before. Uh, Moxie. Uh, I looked at the root. I can't really pronounce <laughs> the name of it, but. Uh, it's so I've never seen this before and uh, so I'm kind of anxious to see what this tastes like moxie Originally Original elixir to look distinctively different. I did look online and The root is like some kind of medicinal thing So but we'll see what this tastes like um, And I've got another Oritos flavor. Yay! <laughs> this one is pineapple uh, so I'm going to be giving that one a try. All right, so let's get this on the road, shall we? And by the way, I just picked these snacks at random. Uh, I know that a lot of these aren't like new or anything, but they're just things that I, a lot of these I've never had. So. certainly are thin little things. Hmm. Well, for supposed to be a pretzel, it's really lacking in salt. Uh, I always picture these uh, crunchy uh, pretzels as something that's you know pretty salty and it gets your saliva glands go going and uh, that's not what I'm getting on this. It's this is more like a, a really dry, um, like bagel chip or something. And without the proper salt. It's just super dry. It doesn't taste like a pretzel. It tastes like a dry breadstick. It doesn't have that pretzel flavor at all. Mm. No. 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 The private selection sea salt oven baked pretzel thins are like really innocent. Um, but tasting anything like a pretzel or even having any salt on them. Uh, that's a big disappointment. And uh, ring that innocent bell and off the board it goes. Yeah, that's too bad. Oh well, all right, we're gonna move on. <laughs> Let's see, my keys here. The meat jar and the magic mustache are about to open up this here bottle of boxy. And I'm looking forward to this. I'm really looking forward to this. Nice. Nice little fizz there when it opened. Awesome. Color of cola. Or root beer, maybe. Wow. That's a weird way to smell. That, what does that smell like to me? Hmm. 
Yeah, it smells like some kind of medicine. Almost like a, maybe like a cough, cough syrup or cough medicine. Something for your throat, maybe. Sore throat lozenge. Yeah, this tastes a little bit like a cross between root beer and NyQuil. <laughs> it's it's different. It's really different, and it it, it says it is different. I'm starting to get, to get used to the flavor a little bit more now, so it's not quite so, uh, doesn't taste quite so opposing like it did there. Now it's kind of meeting like somewhere in the middle. Like it's uh, like a very strangely made root beer, is I guess now kind of what it tastes like. I bet this would be good as a float, like with some vanilla ice cream. This would be really good. Well, for being a completely new experience and totally new flavor, I'm gonna have to give it a guilty. I don't know that it tastes like it should. You know what I mean? I have because I've never had it before. But I do know that it's extremely different uh, from anything I've had, and yeah, I like it. So, based on that, I'm going to give it a guilty. All right. Let's move on to these sticks. Uh, hot chili pepper and lime are uh, corn snack. So maybe it will be like. Of course, the regular takis are corn snack too. They're more like a, a rope. Oh wow. These are a lot thinner than the package we have, you believe. As you can see that it looks kinda like uh, uh like I don't know, like fat like the like big uh, uh I don't know what they're called. Those big noodles you use for uh, like chow mein or whatever. Uh, the crunch is kind of odd. I'm not sure how to explain it. It's more of like a brittle kind of crunch. It really doesn't like break down real easy. <clears throat> Definitely has that Takis flavor. Takis heat. Yeah. They're different. They're not at all like I thought they would be as far as like a like a Cheeto type. Uh, this is a lot uh, thinner and crispier. Hmm. Yep. Yep, the heat's there. Chili and limes. If you eat Takis, you know what I'm talking about. Guilty. Yep, those are decent. I like those. Yep. We're going to keep it rolling. And pull up the old magic mustache and give this Horitos pineapple. Let's go. Alright, come on. Into the old meat jar. Yeah. 
you know, these Joritos flavors really kind of take me back to when I was a kid. And I've, I've mentioned before the, the Duffy's sodas. <clears throat> they had white Joritos, a whole bunch of flavors. And they were all exactly what they said they were. You, you get a pineapple and man, it tastes like pineapple. You got a uh, fruit punch. Man, it was a fruit punch. So this is a, another instant guilty. Yep, instant guilty on that. I can hardly help that. That is just so good. Love it. Well, <clears throat> I hope you've all enjoyed this round, and I'm going to kind of sip out on this moxie, I think. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching, okay?